Let's practice our language skills. Please take out your red language skills packet and open up to page 297. 297 should be in the bottom corner. You should see a picture of Larry Lion, Benny Bear, and Callie Cat at the bottom of the page. Let's get started. Please write your name and number at the top. Make sure to write nice and neatly with one capital letter at the beginning and everything else lowercase. For today's lesson, we're going to be working on reviewing the sounds for the letters L, B, and C. Let's review those now. What sound does an L make? Ooh. Would you say that with me three times? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice work. What sound does a B make? B, B, B. Good job. And last but not least, what sound does a C make? Well, this one can be tricky because the C can make two different sounds, a hard sound and a soft sound. What's the hard sound for a C? What's the soft sound for the C? Now, it's a little bit odd to see the soft sound for the C in a lot of words. Mostly, you hear the hard sound. That's the sound we'll be practicing today. So keep that in mind as we review these pictures. For today's activity, I would like you to look at each picture and decide what beginning sound you hear. We'll do the first few together and then I'm going to ask you to do some by yourself. Go ahead and pick up your pencil and let's get started. I see a picture of a ladder. What's the beginning sound you hear in the word ladder? Hmm, I hear Ooh, ooh. Which letter makes the ooh sound? Let's write the letter L. Let's write a capital L and a lowercase l on the handwriting line. Nice work. Next, I see box. Box. What sound do you hear at the beginning of the word box? I hear b, b ox, b. Which letter makes the b sound? B, very good. Please write a capital B and a lowercase b on the handwriting line. Please make sure that your capital B goes all the way from the hat to the shoe and your lowercase b has its curve below the belt. Next, corn, corn. What sound do you hear at the beginning of corn? Corn. I hear k, k, orn, corn. What sound, what letter makes the sound k? C, the letter C makes the sound Please write a capital C that stretches from the hat to the shoe and a lowercase c that only goes from the belt to the shoe. Nice work. In just a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and complete the rest of this page by yourself. When you're finished, make sure you unpause so that we can keep working together on the back. Say each picture to yourself and write what letter you hear at the beginning of the word. Lips, leaf, cup, bee, and coat. Pause and then unpause so we can continue. All right, you should have completed this page now. Let me show you the answers so you can check your work. Look at the answers now. How did you do? Did you use nice, neat handwriting? Do your capital, capital letters stretch all the way from the hat to the shoe? When you've checked your work, 
Let's go ahead and dog ear fold down the top corner of this page. That's so we can find our place tomorrow when we come back to work. Then turn your page and let's start working on the back side. For today's lesson, we're going to continue reviewing some sight words. The sight word that we will review today is the sight word he. He is made of two letters and two sounds. H E E. What's peculiar about this word is that the E is by itself, but it makes a long vowel sound instead of a short sound. Normally, when vowels are by themselves in words without any other vowels nearby, they make their short sound. It's only when another vowel is nearby that they make their long sound. A few of our sight words don't follow this rule though, which is why we study them to read them by sight. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write the sight word he on both handwriting lines. H, E, he. And then again on the other handwriting line, H, E, E. Now, we're going to read the sentence together and we're going to decide if the picture matches the sentence. If it does, then we're going to color the picture. Let's read both sentences and then we'll be able to color. Ready? Let's start with the first one. Read with me, please. Put your finger underneath the first word that starts with the D. Let's sound this out. D and Dan said he can can it fit. Let's read that one more time without having to sound out. Ready? Begin. Dan said he can fit. Can Dan fit in the box? It looks like it. It looks like the box is big enough to fit Dan. So in a moment, you can come back and color this picture. Let's read the next sentence. Read with me. Let's sound out first. M, at, nat, said, he, k, an, can, n, at, not, f, it. Fit. Let's read one more time without sounding out. Ready? Begin. Nat said he can not fit. Let's look at the picture. Is that sentence true? Nat cannot fit. He's too big. So yes, the picture matches the sentence. Since both sentences match the pictures below, now you can take some time to color these pictures with detail. Remember, coloring with detail means that we don't scribble one color over the whole page. It means that we look for the details. For example, coloring Dan's shirt blue and the box brown. Coloring Nat's shirt's red and his pants gray. Coloring the flowers on the bushes red and pink and purple and coloring the bush green. Coloring the dog brown and his collar purple. Whatever you decide, make sure you look for the details in the picture that you can add to with your colors. As soon as you're done coloring, you can put your language skills packet away for the day. Excellent work.